We're here today in a cemetery. We're here today in a cemetery because cemeteries are a part of life, aren't they? They're a part of life that transitions to the part of death. We just celebrated the resurrection. And as you can see, it's a beauteous location. So much to see, so much to look at, to ponder, a place to lay to rest loved ones, a cemetery. Jesus Christ was placed in a borrowed tomb. He was placed in a spot that was made for somebody else. He didn't have his own grave to go to. He went to another man's grave. He went to our grave, didn't he? We hear in Ephesians chapter 2, As for you, you were dead in your trespasses and sins. Dead. Not physically. Spiritually dead. In your trespasses, in your sins, we all fit that bill. But God in his mercy made us alive in Christ. Spiritually alive. So that as we are pondering these days post-Easter, we can rejoice knowing that the grave, whatever form it takes, is where our bodies will be parked, but our souls will not. Because as we contemplate the reality of Easter, we know that as Christ rose, we too will rise. And we are saved by his grace. We don't have to do things. We don't have to donate to any charity unless we wish to, to make sure that we get into heaven. We don't have to have a fancier stone. We don't have to have a better service, any of those kinds of things. It is simply by grace we are saved, we who are dead in our trespasses, in our sins. And so, as we live in these days of so much uncertainty, I encourage you to remember the certainty, the peace, the victory that is ours, that is yours, in Jesus Christ. Nothing takes that away. Nothing conquers that. Yeah, there are times we get a little bit overwhelmed. Yeah, we do. There are times we hear about loved ones who are struggling with whether it's corona or something else. We struggle. We have anxieties in varying forms. Because of so much the uncertainties of life. But you see, in the cross, all of those things that would defeat us, that would destroy us, they were beaten. We have peace. We have the conqueror of Jesus Christ as our Lord, our God, our Savior. That lets us know that no matter what, this grave is temporary. Even if it's beautiful, it is all temporary. And so I encourage you to remember day by day. No matter what comes, no matter what you face, no matter what is going through your mind, your head, your heart that you are at peace because you are saved by grace. Nothing is better than that. Nothing is bigger than that. So remember today that as you are saved, you are saved for eternity in Jesus Christ. And this grave is all temporary. Let's pray. Gracious God, we thank you for life. We thank you that you, Holy Father, created our bodies. That you Son, Jesus, the Savior, that you redeemed our bodies, that you, Holy Spirit, sanctified our bodies to give us that faith that gives us the peace, the assurance that connects us to you, to your power, to your promise, to your grace, so that we know we are victorious, even in these difficult days, even in any days. Lord, grant us this peace in our hearts and our minds for our families, our loved ones. We pray this for the sake of Jesus. Amen.